house in the North London area where One Direction were residing for a couple of days to promote their brand new movie, This Is Us. Is that what it's? Yeah, that's what it's got. <laughs> sort, of lo- sort of lost my stepping there. I was like, this is a film we've made. The film has had quite a little bit of press at the front page of The Guardian and on the actual news and stuff, which is, seems insane. Actually, on the tubes, which I've never, ever seen before, on the tube in London, there were signs saying, on Tuesday, there's going to be a One Direction premiere, so there may be some trouble in central London. That's how serious it was. It, like, brought the city to a standstill. We sent Fiona down there to try and get Pats. Didn't work. But the next day, we headed to go and speak to them. We were in the warehouse. They were doing press. And I think it was good. We divided them up. So Gregory took Louis and Niall to one side. You will hear that interview next week on The Greg James Show on BBC Radio 1. But now you are going to hear what happened when I spoke to the other three, when I spoke to Zane, I spoke to Harry, and I spoke to Liam. This is what happened when we spoke to One Direction about being movie stars now. Um, Hello, Liam Payne. Hello. (laughs) <laughs> Hello, Zane Malik. Hello. Hello, Harry Styles. Hi, Nick Grimshaw. How are you all? Very all well. Good. Nice to see you all. How are you? I'm, I'm all right. Good. But I didn't go to the premiere last night, and I didn't go to a party last night, so I feel refreshed and revived. Good. How do you all feel? I feel like I need to do this. For the benefit of radio, Liam is putting his head on the table with his with head. A hood up. Yes, I f- yeah, I feel thought going reasonably well-rested, actually. I went to bed oh, quite early. Yeah, okay. right. you party I angle. feel quite tired, if I'm honest. Are you? Yeah. Would you want to wrap this up? Yeah. Lovely to talk to right. you. See you next year. Oh, I'll see you later. Thank you. Cheers, guys. I'm off to the Greg James show. OK, see you later. <laughs> um, how was it last night? Because I've, I've seen it, nothing but it. I mean, it was in, like, the papers constantly. It was on, like, the, it was on the news this morning. I like that it's news that you had a film now. Yeah, it's crazy, yeah. mate. Because, honestly, like, when we, when we first got there and saw how many people had, like, waited and camped out for us and stuff, like, we, for one, we couldn't believe we were at our own premiere. For two, how many people turned up. It was just crazy and couldn't have gone better, to be honest. There was people, like, camping out. Would there be anyone now? We paid them to do that. Oh, we, well, we thought it was that. a marketing plea. Yeah. So we paid them to camp it's out. A great idea. So that it was in their nose. Yeah. Great idea. If you look closely, they're Don't all sort the of hype. thirty-five-year-old extras. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> You've seen him in like the Churchill advert. And yeah, yeah. They were all posing <clears> as fans. Um, we sent Ian actually from the Radio and Breakfast Show to Leicester Square to try and break in yesterday and there was like people camping out like you know overnight and all that is there anyone that you would have done that for or anyone that you when you were a bit younger is there anyone that you'd have that obsessive level of love for um, That's a no, there's definitely everyone. people that I would have wanted to. I don't know if I would have been allowed. I so yeah. wouldn't have been allowed. I don't know if I've got the yeah. commitment for that. Never. Imagine that like, I'm going to London. Although I do like camp camping. Out, so yeah, I yeah. know. Hey I read on Twitter as well last night that there was a woman waiting inside the cinema in a bridesmaid dress. Yes to marry I you. saw that woman. I was so confused. I I thought she just got married, and and I'm here to stand while you marry (laughs) someone else. (laughs) Did you see that? Yeah. I, I saw her walk past and I just wondered whether she just got married, was waiting for said proposal, or was off to Vegas. I think she was waiting for any one of you. It was around. She was waiting waiting for Morgan. She had no preference. Yeah, or Spurlock. Spurlock, She'll take Spurlock or a (laughs) Winston. Yeah. She'll take anything. Anyone will take Cameraman, no. sound guy, guy. whatever. I heard she was after you. Really? Yeah. She's still there, then. <laughs> <laughs> Wrong tree. Um, does someone teach you what to do? Because I saw when you get out on that premiere, and I always think that when I go, I always feel a little bit weird and don't really know what yeah. to do. Does someone teach you what to do when you turn up to a premiere? Do you know what it, you know what it was for me? I had slightly bigger shoes on than I'd usually have, and when I got out of the car, there was a second where I nearly fell over, and then when we went upstairs on the stage, there was another second where I nearly fell over. I had a couple of close escapes yesterday. Yeah, they never tell you what to do. Like, the VR the door just opens and you, f- you feel yourself like trying to sort your jacket out and uh, stuff because you look like a bit of an idiot getting out. I watched some interviews today to prep for this interview for now uh, and some of the hard-hitting questions. I saw Zayn, you got asked a lot about like the album. Mm-hmm. Liam, I saw you got asked about the film. Harry, yours was like hard-hitting, like, how would you do your hair? <laughs> What's that so your how do you do your stuff? head? It's very erect it's, today. It's very erect today, isn't it? Yes. It's massive. Uh, uh, very, just I imagine that the same way you do. Just put some stuff in it, shake it, and then hey presto. What happens. Hey presto, erect. It's erect. <laughs> and then you're done for the day. You get on with your day. What's like the worst question do you think that you do get asked at something like that? I think... Because if you say it now, you can declare it. and then If you could have any superpower. Yes, yeah, superpower. Yeah. Or That's stupid. Yeah. Well, it's not going to happen, is it? Yeah. Well, I'm I'm done, done. We can but hope. Well, yeah. <laughs> Um, but you might not get the superpower that you, you wish. Should. You might just get something else. And then you're just a bit like, 
Mm. I don't want that one. I don't want super strength. I want didn't it to want be invisible. One, thanks. Didn't want one, thanks. Um, Simon Cowell was there as well last night, yes. and he was saying that he feels like a father to you. Do you ever feel that Simon Cowell is your father? I will be uh, a <laughs> That's a We used to question. call him Uncle Simon on yeah. the show. Um, Uncle Si. Yeah. Uncle, yeah. Si, Uncle, si. Uncle si. Uncle Si. Yeah. Now he's... Uh, anyway, moving father. on. <laughs> yeah, moving father on. Okay, part one is done. We're